savings at Brookings Auto Mall. We've made a special purchase of 2016 Chevy Malibus. Eight to choose from starting at just $13,995. Details at BrookingsAutoMall.com. Brookings Auto Mall. What's in your driveway? Getting ahead of students, falling behind. How Dell Rapids is looking to implement e-learning into the classroom. Plus, how volunteers impacted the cleanup efforts after three tornadoes tore through Sioux Falls. Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to our top stories in just a bit. But first, let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Well, good morning, everybody. It was a mild day yesterday. In uh, many locations in the 50s and 60s, we won't have that today. A cold front has uh, been marching across eastern and southeastern Kettleland. With that, northwest winds help bring in cooler air. So expect even a chance for some light rain showers as we do go through this morning. Dry conditions for tomorrow. And we'll have to watch for a rain-snow chance for this weekend as temperatures will cool to the 30s and 40s. More details on a Kettleland Live Doppler forecast with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks, Scott. West Central School District was the first in South Dakota to close due to coronavirus concerns yesterday and is closed again today. The closure allowed for a deep clean of the buildings after finding out a parent of a student tested positive for COVID-19. Superintendent Brad Barron says crews worked late into the night to ionize and sanitize all of the rooms and lockers. He says this process could take a few days. Certainly, if a parent has concerns, um, we'd like to visit with them. Uh, but we won't bring them back in until we're confident that the facilities are ready for that. Barron says the school is working closely with the Department of Health to decide when to reopen. In the wake of West Central Schools closing down for cleaning related to COVID-19, the Del Rapids School District is making sure that if they ever have to do anything similar, their education could keep going. Starting this week, teachers of all grades began their training on e-learning. E-learning is a way for teachers to keep students' education going online if school were to be called off or if students were to miss class for any reason. It's just being able to provide students some academic um, curriculum, some guidance, some instructions remotely. Students will be able to use their electronic devices to watch lectures and keep up on assignments. They are looking to implement it around the 2021 school year. Another has changed its schedule because of the virus. Wagner has joined West Central on the list of schools that have canceled classes for the rest of the week to allow for deep cleaning of the buildings. At least one person has tested positive for the coronavirus in each community. And Augustana University is expanding its spring break to next Friday, March 20th. The Sioux Falls Chamber of Commerce made a big announcement yesterday. This weekend, St. Patrick's Day Parade in downtown Sioux Falls has been canceled. The chamber says it made the decision to slow the spread of COVID-19. The St. Patty's Day Mile has also been canceled. Just over six months have passed since, e since three EF2 tornadoes touched down in Sioux Falls. That left many people cleaning up what the tornadoes left behind. Mayor Paul Tenaken says nearly 800 volunteers pitched in to clean up. I have no doubt that if an event like this would happen again, those numbers would be the same and even greater. I think that's what makes Sioux Falls such a great community. The mayor says some tree debris still needs to be cleaned up near 49th Street. Plus, some businesses are still working to open up later this year. So how did those volunteers help to repair the city? Well, it was a big job that had them doing everything from moving branches to picking up debris. But by doing so, they helped put Sioux Falls back together. The 211 helpline had more than 800 people volunteer. Jordan Stone was one of them. She says stepping up to help out was a fulfilling experience. You're paying it forward, and if, if it's not you and you can help somebody, then maybe when it is you, somebody's going to help you as well. The 211 helpline needs volunteers all year long. To find out how to volunteer, you can find a link under this story on Kelloland.com. In addition to volunteering, dozens of people helped raise more than $130,000 to help residents clean up after the tornadoes. Some of that money is still being distributed. Almost immediately, we were able to distribute funds to people who were displaced by the tornadoes and help people who uh, needed assistance with tree removal. And then we were able to help people that uh, were impacted by the flooding. Go to this Kendallland.com original to see how many people were helped out by the funds. Brian? All right, turning to weather this morning, a passing cold front today is stirring up some wind across the region. That's 
one of the bigger stories we're following. And then also, northwest winds, yeah, they're blowing in here 20 to 40 much of the early afternoon. They will subside, though, tonight. We're expecting that to occur. And then tomorrow, we'll begin the day with quite a bit of sunshine, but we do expect clouds to increase in southwest South Dakota. And this will transition to developing snow chances as we conclude the day Friday and Friday night. Snow likely Rapid City through daybreak Saturday morning. Chamberlain, winter could be in that. Uh, Gregory, even Yankton. But the farther north and east you go, the lesser chances of that being an issue or at least a substantial one this weekend. So we still have some time to kind of iron out how that easterly wind from Minnesota is going to effectively shut down some of the snow chances in our northern and eastern counties. Wind today, though, no escaping that. That's pretty common here late this morning, and you'll look at your peak gusts here by 3 o'clock, 30 to 40 miles per hour. Let's have a look at your forecast now for the rest of the day today. And before we do that, I did want to bring up this map quickly. Plowable snow this weekend. Yep, Nebraska is kind of our primary target of that. And uh, that snow certainly will show up on our seven day forecast. Right now, Sioux Falls. 40% chance of that precipitation. The numbers, though, are still not bad. We still could edge up above 40 on Sunday, so that will tend to minimize the impacts there. Aberdeen in the Northeast, 30% chances of rain or snow on Saturday and Sunday. Again, with temperatures forecast during the day to be above freezing. I think that uh, some of that moisture obviously would be melting if it is snow. Pier in central South Dakota, you do have a better chance of snow there on Saturday with a high at 39. We'll keep some low end chances of rain or snow into early next week, but it doesn't look like a lot of deep moisture there. Most of this is going to hit Rapid City on Saturday. That's an 80% chance. We'll keep an eye on it, guys. Thanks, Brian, and thanks for joining us for Kelly Land on the Go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelly Land. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on KellyLand.com. Now go have a great day.